there, this is Victoria from CrushCrypto.com. In this video, I'm going to do an update on Chainlink as they've recently released their technical white paper, which provides more color on their project. You're welcome to check out my previous video on Chainlink, but I will be running through most of the content again. A quick disclaimer before I start, we aren't paid or mandated to do any of our reviews. This is just our personal opinion and analysis and not investment advice. Before I dive into Chainlink, let me go over quickly what a smart contract is, as this is critical to what Chainlink does. Smart contracts are essentially computer protocols or lines of code that facilitate, verify, or enforce a contract. They are tamper-proof because they are run on a decentralized network, which makes it very secure. When some triggering event happens, the program basically runs the code to determine what to do. As everything is preset already, it can enforce a contract in just minutes. The individuals that are involved can remain anonymous, but because everything is on the public ledger, it makes a smart contract secure and immutable. This table summarizes the benefits of smart contracts versus traditional contracts. The goal is to develop smart contracts so that they can eventually emulate many of the traditional legal agreements that we have today. So what exactly is Chainlink? Chainlink is the middleware that connects smart contracts with off-chain resources like data feeds and APIs. This middleware is known as Oracle. With Oracles, smart contracts can do payouts between two parties programmatically without any middleman. Right now, smart contracts have not been able to do this yet, so Chainlink could be a game changer for smart contract technology. Here's a diagram to show you how Chainlink works with external systems and APIs like Bloomberg Data. To connect smart contracts with these outside sources, they will be utilizing their secure Oracles. This chart shows the extensive reach that their decentralized Oracle network could have, and they are the first to be doing this. Chainlink has actually been creating secure oracles for Bitcoin and Ethereum for over three years. They have been connecting smart contracts on various networks to critical external data feeds as triggers. If Chainlink is successful, eventually every data provider, bank, and API could potentially sell their core services to a smart contract. If you have ever tried transferring money overseas, you've probably come across SWIFT. SWIFT is the vast messaging network used by banks around the world to quickly and accurately send and receive information such as money transfer instructions. Every day, thousands of banks around the world send around 24 million messages on the network. Chainlink is currently working with SWIFT to develop their own SWIFT Smart Oracle. The partnership would allow smart contracts on various networks to make payments, send governance instructions, and release collateral with over 11,000 banks. This is a very strong partnership for Chainlink because SWIFT is the dominant leader in the global processing of transactional messages, and it could give them access to thousands of financial institutions worldwide. Chainlink is also working with Cornell to help launch the first Intel SGX secured link between smart contracts and external data. This picture here is a town crier oracle developed by Chainlink and Cornell. This oracle provides an authenticated data feed of the daily Ether price, which could be useful for many smart contracts. It is made tamper-proof as it uses in an Intel SGX secure environment. Basically, what this means is that they are working on developing a more secure way of running an oracle. Chainlink will be issuing their link tokens starting on September 19th in a public crowd sale. The hard cap is $32 million, and the total supply will be fixed at 1 billion tokens. 35% of the tokens are going to the public sale, which implies a maximum market cap of $91 million. This chart shows how the tokens will be allocated, and this shows the bonus structure for linked tokens during the public crowd sale. Please check Chainlink's website for the most up-to-date information on their ICO. The linked tokens will be the platform's unique currency. A token system is necessary in their case as it allows smart contract users to compensate the various data providers. This ensures accurate and verifiable data and helps expedite adoption of Chainlink. The more the Chainlink platform is used, the more valuable link tokens will become as the supply is fixed at 1 billion tokens. Chainlink currently has a core team of two people, both serial entrepreneurs with relevant experience in the blockchain space. The CEO was previously the co-founder and CEO of a company called Secure Asset Exchange and CryptoMail, both of which are ventures that provide decentralized solutions. 
They have also been recognized by credible organizations like Gartner, which is one of the world's largest research and advisory firms, as well as World Economic Forum. Chainlink's white paper was thoroughly researched and peer-reviewed by distinguished computer science professors, cybersecurity experts, and blockchain industry leaders. The research was actually led by Ari Jules, the professor of computer science at Cornell Tech and a leading cryptography academic. He was previously the chief scientist of RSA, one of the world's largest cybersecurity firms that serves nearly half of the global Fortune 500 companies. There's also Andrew Miller, the Associate Professor of Computer Science at the University of Illinois, who is an advisor to Zcash and Tezos, and Hassan Jamieson, one of the key members of the Ethereum Foundation. Chainlink also recently added Facebook's Director of Engineering, Evan Cheng, as an active technical advisor. He previously created LLVM, which is relied on by all Apple iOS and Mac devices to run their secure lower-level machine code. It also plays a key role in how that code is run by some of the world's leading tech companies, including Google, Intel, AMD, and NVIDIA. So what are the opportunities? The team has been working together in the blockchain space for several years already. The parent company, Smart Contract, was founded in 2014 and has been creating secure oracles for Bitcoin and Ethereum for over three years already. The team is backed by very strong advisors, as I touched on just now. The project is also backed by several VC investors already. And with the development of oracles, blockchain technology and smart contracts will become more useful with a lot more applications. Different kinds of contracts can be enforced and executed in a trustless manner. We believe Chainlink's Oracle network could help blockchain technology reach mass adoption, and this is a very significant opportunity. As I mentioned earlier, Chainlink has partnered up with Swift. They already completed a phase one proof of concept back in June with Swift being a paying customer of Chainlink. This valuable partnership would allow Chainlink to easily partner up with other financial institutions going forward. The network effect is present for this project because their platform will become increasingly more useful as they gradually become the go-to source for blockchain data feeds. Their tokens will also become increasingly more valuable as usage of the platform increases. One of our concerns is how their platform will interact with regulations and compliance as they will be touching on things like bank and retail payments. No one knows exactly how this will pan out. Chainlink also needs to overcome several challenges associated with making oracles secure. For example, they need to develop oracles that preserve confidentiality, which has been one of the main hurdles for blockchain deployment. This means that questions like, has this flight been delayed, needs to be answered for an insurance-related smart contract without exposing any other information on-chain. Other challenges include infrastructure modification and off-chain computation. The team is already working on addressing these technical challenges, but we are not sure the development timeframe yet. And finally, as this is a potentially lucrative space, this could give rise to competition. Mobius, for example, wants to create a standardized proof-of-stake based protocol that enables developers to easily create oracles that securely inputs data into the blockchain, particularly into smart contracts. Overall, we believe Chainlink has a genuine market need. If they are successful, they could make a big difference in pushing blockchain technology forward and allow smart contracts to actually be smart and tamper-proof through the use of secure oracles. From an investment perspective, their ICO could be good as a short-term investment. Even though the team has barely done any marketing and PR, and they aren't the most responsive of all the ICOs out there, there's already a lot of interest and hype for this project in the crypto market. They didn't even put up their Slack link, but they already have accumulated over 2,700 people in their Slack channel. As a portion of their hard cap has already been sold in the pre-sale, it shouldn't be too difficult for them to hit their hard cap, even in the current uncertain environment. The tokens will be distributed immediately after the crowd sale, so you'll be able to sell them right away. We think Chainlink could be a good long-term investment as well, as it is solving a genuine and highly lucrative problem with a lot of good use cases. The project has already built traction with Swift being a paying customer, which could potentially give them access to over 11,000 banks worldwide. We think they have a good chance to be successful, as they are three years in the making already, and they are backed by computer science professors, cybersecurity experts, and blockchain leaders. Thank you very much for watching this video. 
please check out our website at crushcrypto.com for more information on Chainlink. If you would like updates on the crypto space, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and to our newsletter. See you next time and I hope you'll keep on crushing it.